Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTix.com. Here we go. We've got a fun watch launching into a series that are going to be similar in nature to these kind of uh, nice, compact, rectangular, fitness like watches. This one is a doogie. It's a real doogie. It's the DG Aries, and we're going to take a look at it in here. Let me tell you about it. It comes to us directly from Banggood. It's um, 1.32 inch, 360 by 360. That's 386 PPI, so it's going to be nice and sharp. It's got dynamic heart rate, blood oxygen, 24 sports, good sized battery, and it's relatively inexpensive. Got a link in the show notes for you as well. As far as specs go, here you go. Bluetooth 5 on this one. You've got full touch screen using GloryFit as a tethering app. Here are all the languages in the app and the watch languages as well. You got the basic call reminder, message reminder. It's not a Bluetooth calling watch, however. You got dynamic heart rate, blood oxygen. Doesn't look like blood pressure on this one. They're starting to get away from blood pressure, you notice. Uh, exercise records, there's all the different things uh, you got, different applications. Your standard stuff. Um, you've got uh, three atmosphere waterproof on this one. Definitely good for uh, going in the water if you want. And 1.32 inch, good high res uh, uh, screen on this one. And uh, basic charging information, battery life about 15 days with standby time of 30 days, which is pretty darn decent. Let's get into it. Get inside got a plastic insert which is upside down so I'll flip that around and the grand reveal wow 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 now that is an interesting shape for a watch wow okay okay it's even got a color co coordinated tab on the back to take the cover off of the uh oh off of the uh oh <laughs> the sensors i'm gonna have to peel that off with my uh, finger here in a little bit you know roll it off the edge you've got removable bands they're really wide cover on the front says uh recommended to fully charge it we'll do that before we do anything there's the screen wow i don't know if you can see but in the reflection it looks like it's actually oval or, or, or circular underneath not too many circular actual screens like that on a square watch and we've got a charger that's your standard two pin connects the other way and there we go and the test yes it's strong enough to hold the watch so it should hold pretty well is there a manual in here anywhere Yep, there it is. Here we go. The DG Aries Smartwatch Operation Manual in Chinese and in English. No? Okay. Here we go. Product overview. I guess it begins right here with the app download information, charging guidelines. Yeah, it's a bunch of different languages all combined together. Um, I think it's just a basic get you started kind of a manual. Okay, we of course are going to charge it up now and turn it on for you. There we go. I'm back with some data on here as well, all charged up, and we'll show you that on both the watch and the app. I really do like this design. It's pretty darn amazing. No vibration. I didn't feel that when I turned it on, but it did, of course, light up, and we have our twist your wrist to see the time active as well. In the app, you'll see you've got a setting where you can go into do not disturb automatically, and uh, it'll not do that at night, so that's pretty cool. It's got a fast timeout right now I come in here I can change the brightness for you there's full bright down to its lowest level I'm keeping it at about a two for the review but on a full bright it's great outdoors it, you can see it pretty good uh, find your phone right there and then your overall settings where you have info it's called the DG for Doogie Aries okay that's what you look for for tethering we did brightness there's reset the whole thing and of course just turn the watch off all through settings accessible from there Watch faces we'll get into. Got a bunch of those swiping up. If you have any notifications, you can read them, go into them right here on the screen. Um, 
and that course is uh, being tethered to your phone to do that here's our cards this is a uh, step count distance traveled and calories burned look at this i've got a continuous heart rate chart with the current reading being taken oh yeah i still haven't taken the back off of this yet but it's working through the plastic um this is really, really sweet. Uh, we're not going to get into all of that right now. Your low, your high, and a continuous chart with the measurements on the side. You don't see that even in the high-end watches. So very impressed on how it's handling heart rate. Blood oxygen, I'm impressed as well. Now, of course, it's doing it here. Let's uh, show you that it did the red diodes. You saw that flipping them over here there we go so it's using red diode technology for and look like green as well for the blood oxygen and um, it's not showing you a continuous chart per se but it is giving you percentages as long as it can see your your finger or your arm or, or something like that whoops we jumped out of there so we have this and we have it also on a continuous every 10 minute basis it's taking it right now because i have my finger whoops up against it um, and it gives you a good reading from about 94 to 100 percent you'll see that in the app then you come over here and we've got last night's sleep information doesn't show you any more than just your uh, deep and light sleep it looks like and of course the overall totals and then your uh, weather in your area as set up by the app and you can do it in fahrenheit or centigrade get your current conditions and your forecast music player when you're connected to the uh, phone you can activate it from here as well and those are all the cards leaving us the app drawer here status of course is your step count training are the different activities that you've got there's no gps in here however you can tie it to gps in the phone if you want to take that along with you you got outdoor running cycling skipping here's swim they got uh, decent waterproof uh, capabilities on the watch so you can actually swim with this one so sorry it's timing out so quickly table tennis alpinism we're seeing that word show up actually this user interface is pretty similar to what we've been seeing on uh, some of the watches um, both the round fancy ones and these uh, different uh, what you say fitness kind of watches outdoor kind wow it had red diodes so it's doing the blood oxygen right now as well so you got all of that in your training then there's heart rate we saw blood oxygen we saw in the cards they're the same sleep and weather are all the same as is music so messaging you've seen all of that already by moving around the watch but we do have a stopwatch in here you start that puppy and you see you can't leave it you press the button you can pause it and leave it come back into it it picks up from where it was but it won't run in the background unfortunately but you do have this capability and you can pause it you can reset it um, and you have countdown timers in here as well one three five and ten find your phone the qr code for downloading the um, glory fit app we'll have a link in the show notes for that or you can scan that right off of youtube believe it or not and then our dials and overall settings we already saw as well so we get into the dials which we could do by just pressing and holding and you can see you have a bunch of different colorful ones this is kind of the one they feature in the picture look at that 3d take on that pretty pretty nice um there's three different styles this is a green one and so they have these different unique faces that go along with it they're a little bit larger if i touch them and expand them like this and you can see it pretty well fills the watch and uh, with this interesting semi square semi round design and a round screen it makes for a fun look look in a uh, smartwatch i want to put it on because i want to show you the last watch face before we switch to the app which um, i downloaded from the app actually you got the two little protectors they're all color coordinated and shaped nice rubberized band looks really good on the wrist and uh let's go in here and flip over come on you got to hold it just right to get it to go into the mode there we go you don't often see watch faces with second hands on it i like this one i also like it had that kind of greenish interface with it as well heart rate calories burn date time 
you name it, uh, step count, very attractive watch face. I'll show you that in the app, which we're going to take a look at right now. From the Google Play Store, this is what Glory Fit looks like when you get into it. You want to download it, set it up. Once you open it, you can create an account. You go through tethering the watch, all that setup process. And when you're there and you've got some data on your watch, it'll synchronize and show you this page. You've got your temperature up here. That's either white if you're tethered to the watch or red if you haven't yet. And then you've got some different panels that show you all kinds of good stuff, starting here with your uh, step count stuff. Here's uh, the daily step count uh, by hour breakdown. And notice it's actually automatically going into um, the mode. It knows I'm walking. I try to get my 250 steps minimum per hour. And so I, I've got these little zones of a couple of minutes here and there that I'm walking more shows you even more and if, if you're running or swimming or whatever it theoretically will be able to capture that without you going into the activity directly but you can of course if you want to weekly monthly summaries see other calendar days send this information out change your dates right there it's all here and very well laid out and that's all in that green section then we get down into heart rate sleep time and blood oxygen let's look at the heart rate recording I can touch on it and I can show you the instant heart rate at any time and it's taken automatically every 10 minutes come up here I can go into the bigger chart same kind of thing you can't expand it with a two finger pinch but you can move in here now interestingly you touch it and it jumps after you let go so you can't slide your finger along if I wanted that peak I have to kind of guess around it see if I can hit it but it's there. You've got uh, your summary information and the different stages, and it shows you what percentage of your time throughout the day you're spending in these different zones with a different heart rate as determined by your setup on your gender and your age and all the other kind of things. So well um, thought out app. Get into sleep recording, and here you go. You've got all of the breakdown from when you woke up or when you went to bed to when you woke up. And these different segments, when you touch it, you'll see what kind of sleep it is. Dark blue is deep, and light blue is light, and the yellow or orange is, uh, and that's really tough. And again, you can't slide your finger. You have to try to just move along and catch it. There, had they awake time. Um, shows you what beginning and ending, and it shows you down here, and your total cumulative all put together as well. Total hours. The zones you're in, no rim sleep on this one, but you do have a nice accessible graph to figure things out. All that's the same for looking at different days or sending the information out to a friend. Now, an interesting aspect of how uh, the app and the device handles blood oxygen, it actually is uh, every 10 minutes doing a blood oxygen reading. And you can jump around the graph to see what that percentage is. 94 to 100, you see it's a just showing you the top tier so you have some difference in height on these. The ones that go 0 to 100 and it looks like a line that runs across the top are kind of useless. So here we go, minimum, maximum. Here's the times uh, throughout the day that it take it, that it took it. Look at that, interesting, 9, 928, 929. More, when we get down here, you'll see every 10 minutes. So it was doing it while I was awake, probably while I was going through the app and landed on that uh, card. It took a measurement and it's transferred it over here. If I go down, here you go. When you get down below 95, like here at 5 a.m., and it can't do anything with it, but it'll say basically low blood oxygen. And throughout the night, possibly sleep apnea moments, uh, it had that too. Now it's not monitoring for sleep apnea and it doesn't vibrate to wake you up or any of those fancy things, but it does give you a nice reading of your blood oxygen throughout the night and day every 10 minutes or whenever you take the measurement. And that's the first card. Come over here to sports. You can pick out whatever you want. You can activate it. It'll give you your track on the map. Um, from GPS and it should integrate with the heart rate information from the watch so you take the two together and you can get your complete reading for specific activities that you'd like to do. Just these three it looks like. Maybe you can add more here. Oh yeah I guess so. You, you've got the basic ones but if you tend to do a lot of sit-ups, indoor running, 
jumping jacks. You can put those on there too. Just add them to the list and save it. Then the device. Uh, we've done Glory Fit before review, so I'm going to whip through this thing. You have the ability to turn on and off all these different things. Raise your uh, hand to see the time. Set up do not disturb intervals and turn those on if you want to. All of that's here. You got the basic universal settings for your units and um, shake to take a picture and on screen time. There we go. This is why it's been timing out so fast, guys. I can make it 15 seconds, which I will, so that we'll have it uh, set for that. And we wanted to go into the dial store, which is right here dial settings takes it a moment to download them from the server to get everything ready um, I have my dials which have already been downloaded there's a couple of them and that's the one I was showing you and you can set up a custom one if you want to with your own picture and uh, from here in the dial center we have these here we go uh, lots and lots of dial faces for whatever kind of combination you want digital or analog whatever colors you want to work with golds and blacks, greens, very tropical, colorful. Uh, it has a bunch of them in here. They come in, in groups, and then you, you'll you see you have to kind of swipe up to download more. So it's not spending all day downloading thumbnails. You get to see the ones you want. If you want more uh, than what's on the list, you can get down here. It'll say successfully loaded when it's done. And then you can scroll the next group of them as well. Yeah, and there's a lot. I'm not going to show you all of them, but we're close to it. Okay, so that gives you an idea of all of the different uh, watch faces. You can download one extra one. And like I say, once you download it, uh, you have it in my dial. And you can transfer the ones you, your favorites from here to the band pretty quickly without having to be on the Internet and download them from the server. Here you have to first get them downloaded you know, from the server into your uh, phone, the one that you're using, of course, to tether to the watch. Okay, that is the app. Me is where you set up your overall training plan, what days of the week you want to work out or walk or whatever, how many steps you want to get and what percentage you're done. It's a little more sophisticated than you find on most apps. You can set your target, uh, your weekly uh, goals, um, and, and how well you're doing will show up there, and so forth. Okay, where can you get this doogie? You can get it from Banggood. There we go. Um, check the uh, the listing for a discount coupon if possible. It shows it's in flash deals, so that's probably the best price I'll have for now. But if you look and it's higher, see if I've got a coupon in our coupon section for you. we got a special page just filled with coupons for all the goodies that we're reviewing here and uh, you can pick this puppy up it's a decent watch i'm pretty impressed with it um nice design very unique and like i said it comes in a variety of different colors as well and the fact you can set up your own specialized watch face is extra special all righty gang that's it we'll see you again soon thanks for watching